Hello, this is Zelda with Zelda Sews and my channel focuses on all things related to sewing. I have a brother sewing machine and that's the only sewing machine I know. So what I did this week, I made a couple of items for my sister-in-law. She wanted some placemats, round placemats and I made some round placemats for her. I just used, it was a, uh, excuse me, my eyes itching. <laughs> it's a keepsake calico and it has a little print design. Let me move my coffee away just in case. I don't want it to dip in there. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see a little bit of the design on there. And on the edge, I just put a little scallop around the edge of it. And hopefully you could see that. If not, I did. So I made this. I also made her a nightgown because she wanted a nightgown. Now, I will put a picture in here of what it originally looked like. And when I showed it to Tony, that's my husband, he said, that might fall off her shoulders. So, <laughs> he's right. So what I did, this is it. And this is actually pattern, let me, pattern number, it's a Butterick 6883. And I made view C with the sleeve of B. Okay. I, I wanted the length. I did not realize when I was looking at the line drawings in the back that it did not come. Let me see. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. If not, I apologize. It, it was a square in the front, but it also square in the back. There was no, it wasn't higher in the back. And so that would leave it falling off of her shoulders. So what I ended up doing, okay, here it is. Let me just show it to you. I ended up putting this ribbon here on the back side of the, the gown, on the back side, so that when she puts it on, it will lean across her back, but it won't fall off of her shoulders. And I thought that would be very nice. Hopefully, I mean, looking at it, I was like, I can't tell the difference between the front and the back, but the back is a little bit lower than the front. So hopefully this will help. And it's just, I love this fabric. It was just so pretty and hopefully she'll like it. Uh, She'll like it. I also was working on, I'm trying to think what, no, I, I bought a bunch of patterns and I'm not sure which one I'm going to work on next. I have this fabric here that I picked up from Fabric Mart and, and it's absolutely beautiful and it's heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, I love the, the, the style of it, the print. But the, let me see if I can get a piece of it to show you what I'm talking about. Hi, okay. I wanna show you this material that I picked up from, I think it was fabricstore.com, one of those places. Anyway, this, you can see the design it changes as it goes across. So, and it has stretched this way and see where it gets more detailed and more floral on right down here. But I, there's it stretched this way, but there's no stretch this way. So I'm not sure if you can cut your fabric this way where there's no stretch 
versus where it has the lengthwise stretch. So I'm not sure if that's something that can be done or I guess it can be done, but has anyone done this? And if you can share with me, I, because I like the, the more detailed design, I would like it for, to be on the top of my dress and then on the bottom, like a um, flowy type of A-line design, I mean, pattern on the bottom where it stretches out. But I know the, the stretch will be longer versus I have no room like a cross stretch like this one. This dress here, I think I mentioned it to you. I used the non-woven interfacing along the front and the back of this dress. It did not call for this for the cashmere uh, rivermont dress it called for knit interfacing i didn't know that until i had used it so there is there's nothing no stretch here but it it fits me great i like the way it fits i like the way it feels it goes over my head and i don't have any challenges with it being too small so that is it Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on my next video. God bless you. Have a great one. Bye.